In this new NetEdit Wonder One tutorial, I will show you how to match device attributes and how to use them to create queries and other um, tools. We'll take the following steps. We'll create new attributes. We'll assign attributes to devices. We'll use attributes to create permanent queries. And then we'll use the same attributes to create device lists on the main dashboard. So let's get started. We're here at the main dashboard. And at the end of this tutorial, we'll have more tiles here. As you can see, we have discovered devices and we have lists of devices here in the main dashboard. Uh, and we'll talk more about these uh, different tiles later in this same tutorial. But we said that the first step was going to be to create a new attribute. For that, I'm going to go to the last item or option in my menu here called settings. And again, the last sub menu here called attributes. And we're going to be talking about device attributes. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new attribute. I'm going to go here to my plus sign, which is this is a reduced action menu here because the only actions we have is to create or delete attributes. So I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call it role. And here I'm going to say that the type it could be a text, it could be a list, or it could be Boolean. I'm going to create a list, and you can explore the other two on your own. They're pretty simple. And I already have some here um, values for that list. So I'm going to have one value called core, the other one aggregation. The third one will be top of rack. And finally, I'm going to have one called other. So the default value here will be other and I don't know if you noticed but in this list you find the words that you entered here in the list values so that shows you that the syntax of this is correct because it has been decoded to produce this list here so I'm going to say create and I have my new attribute here. So the attribute has like a variable and a set of values in this case, a list of values. And because these are device attributes, I'm going to go back to my device list in the devices context. And uh, I'm going to assign to the different devices here, different uh, values. I don't have any top of rack devices here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to distinguish between core and aggregation. One thing that I'm adding here is the following. You see this box here at the top. It says enter search query or type help. What I'm going to say here is the following. Um, between asterisks, I'm going to say ag asterisk. I'm going to hit enter, and you see it selected any device that in its name had the AGG part. If I say AG1 and I hit enter again, it only gives me the two devices that have the AG1 portion in the name. So because I want to see all the aggregation devices, I'm going to delete the number one, hit enter again. And now I have a sublist of my devices that matches this search criteria here, or criterion. So on the right side, I see that I have the plus sign. What does that mean? What I can do here is I will create a query. That query, every time I invoke it, it will bring me this list because it will execute a, a search using this particular criteria. So I'm going to say save. And now if I go to the right of this box, I see that I have this um, icon that looks like a list. I'm going to click on it. And I have a list of the queries. 
And by the way, I have my aggregation query here. I will see how I'll show you how to use this query again later. But again, if I select this one, you see I have that. But if I go to recent configuration or select others, this will bring me the devices and basically it uses an OR selection uh, toggle here. Um, so I'm going to say now I'm going to create another query for my core device. So that would be asterisk core asterisk. Say enter and now I'm going to save this as my core. But instead of this, I created attributes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different. So this is the same as I did with the aggregation devices. But so let's create this one. And then I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using attributes. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to say core, I'm going to save it. You see here in my list of queries, I have a creation and core. So, but I told you that I can use attributes for this. So what I'm going to do is, this was useful because it showed you the, the way of using searches to create queries, but now I'm going to use attributes for the same purpose because attributes give me more flexibility. So I'm, what I'm going to do here so I'm going to select my aggregation devices and I'm going to say action and edit attributes. Here, the attribute name is a role and my uh, the value that I want to assign to that role in uh, or for this devices is called aggregation. And I'm going to say save. So now all these devices have that attribute. Let's check that. For example, I'm going to open the device details of the first device. If you look at the top right, now it says that there was a role called aggregation, or so an attribute called role with a value aggregation. And let's look at the device logs here. Here I have my attribute addition uh, to that device. Let's go back to the devices list and let's do the same for my core devices. Going to action, edit attributes, select the attribute called role, assign a value of core and save. So now I could use attributes here in this way, role colon core. Oh, and as you can see, this is case sensitive. So if I use the role core in my search, I get the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a query. And the name of the query is going to be core. So the same thing we did before, but instead of using a search pattern, we use a role here or an attribute to do the same with aggregation now i have my aggregation devices here i'm going to create the corresponding query and save so now i have these queries here in my query list list and core and aggregation and you see Look at these other things. Remember these other things, these other queries that I have already here. If you remember these other queries, these are the names of some of the tiles or some of the tiles in the main um, dashboard have the same name as these queries. So let's see all of that. So we'll now use these attributes in these queries to manage our tiles in the main dashboard. So look at this. If you look at this recent configuration changes, and I say, I click on this, I see all my devices. So this is a query that was created 
that was called um, that search for devices that had a running configuration modified within the last 72 hours. So all of them match that. Let's go back and I'm going to say any device running firmware version 10.2. And all my devices have that version. If you see the current firmware on them, they have, you know, sub revisions of these uh, main firmware version. So, as we go through that, we see that the title here of each one of these tiles is related to one of those queries that we saw in the query list. So that gives us an idea that we could use our new queries to have those lists of devices here. And I'm going to do just that. At top right, I'm going to my tile menu. And I see that I have, these are the tiles that I have. And I'm going to enable and disable the unreachables devices here so you see that it went away from my dashboard so i'm going to go back here re-enable it so i have it back on my dashboard what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add a new tile i'm going to call it core switches the display text is going to be core switches and the query is going to be the core in the tile type i don't know if you see in the background but you have this different type uh, tile types one of them is just like a chart the one that has that circle and these two small boxes at the bottom then you have just a count that is a big number and then you have a list. I'm going to use a list here and create this. And I have my new tile up here. So I'm going to create another one called aggregation switches. The display text is going to be the same. I'm going to go to query and select the aggregation query. And finally, I'm going to also create it as a list have my two new tiles here at the top. I'm going to enable them so they show up in my dashboard. So as you can see here, now I have my list of core devices and my list of aggregation devices. This is very useful because now I have, in a sense, I have what other tools call device groups. So I'm going to click here and I have my list of devices. If now I want to operate on these, on all my aggregation devices, I can go to action and just go and say, for example, edit the running config and or change the firmware. For example, suppose that these are all my 8320s and if you look, they are running different software versions, but suppose that I want to run, suppose that I had 10. 02.0060 available now, I could change the firmware of all of them. And I didn't have to uh, do too much search and selection here because I used my tile and my group here just to select the corresponding devices. So that's a very simple way of using the attributes. In other tutorials as we go through uh, different types of uh, validation we'll see that we can match validation um, rules and validation uh, searches and criteria to device lists uh, using attributes and that will allow us to do some uh, interesting matching there uh, so we run the the validations on the right devices. So we avoid confusion and collecting information that will not be applicable. So with that, we finish this device attributes tutorial. Thank you.